All right, a suspect connected to the crash in January that killed a Torrington teenager and his grandfather was in court today. Yeah, prosecutors say that suspect was speeding when he caused the crash, and that's not all. Here's News 8's Brittany Taylor. Family and friends of 16-year-old Marcus Rogers hugging emotionally outside of the Torrington Courthouse Friday. After over a year and a half, Glenn Reagan, the man allegedly responsible for killing the teenager and his grandfather, is now in custody. He was extradited from Florida. A long overdue development, according to his former coach. It's a constant remind of the pain that was caused and it should have been taken care of instantaneously. It just should have been settled immediately. Never should have taken this long. On January 31st, 2023, Rogers, a hockey player on the Housatonic Co-op Mountaineers, was on his way to practice, driven by his grandfather, William O'Leary. The pair was driving a Chevrolet on Route 44 in Winchester when police say they were struck and killed by a Lexus driven by Reagan, who was 23 at the time. According to court documents, a passenger who was with Reagan says the two were traveling eastbound behind a box truck. Reagan decided to, quote, pass the truck. He pulled over into the oncoming lane, and when I looked at the speedometer, it was a little over 80 miles per hour. The documents also revealing investigators found a bottle of liquor, marijuana and cigars in Reagan's vehicle, but he passed a sobriety test. He's facing a number of charges, including two counts of first degree manslaughter. He really feels remorseful for the people who lost their lives. Uh, and um, we just want people to understand that he's not trying to run from his responsibilities. A civil lawyer for the Rogers family says Reagan has a criminal history, which includes sexual assault charges involving a minor. The time this incident occurred, he was released from Florida on, on heinous crimes. Uh, it's our opinion that he should never have been released from Florida. The judge setting Reagan's bond today at $200,000. He's also on a no release order and he's due back in court on September 17th. In Torrington, Brittany Taylor, News 8.